we are on our way to our first little town after many many months eh? <laughs> I am so ready yeah we are heading to Tuerspreit uh, which is about 86 kilometers from Bloemfontein and uh, unfortunately along this route there's no gravel roads to take I've had a look uh, but I'm looking forward to getting to our little town for the first time and seeing what it's like have you been there I've been there once or twice many moons ago but uh, I can't remember anything about it okay so it's basically a first for both of us yes good you know you're in the free state when you first cross the Mili River then the Kurung River yes and I see just now the Sanas Pos River yes <laughs> wow this road is in fantastic condition isn't no, it no it's in excellent condition that is so good to see yo Oh, this goes to Rusfontein Dam. Okay, it sounds like you're familiar with that. Yes, day. we used to go, and my father used to go fishing to Rusfontein Dam. Okay. But look at these old bridges. Two of them. Yeah, it's the the old road, and then the old railway. This is the old road that used to go through to Masiru to Bajshi. No way. Yeah. And there's the railway line right there. The two st old steel bridges right next to each other. I'm not going to take a chance and drive on it. No, but you might want to take a walk. Yes. Oh, how awesome is this? Look at that. Can you imagine vehicles? So was it a single lane bridge then? Yes, a single lane bridge, yeah. Oh, wow. oh yeah, no, the road has given way there. Yes, you can't go. I'm going to take a quick walk. Yeah, I think you should. <laughs> I see the road is washed out here completely. Oh man. That one still works, that tracks are shining. So this is the Modder Rafir. Wouldn't it be cool if a train just came passing by here now? <laughs> I see this concrete has been broken. I wonder if there's a date over here. No dates. I'm glad we spotted these. What a cool find they were, yeah. yes. Can't help but think what it must have been like back in the day. Oh, it must have been stunning. Yeah, this is what we love, eh? These small town places <laughs> and, and what, what we find between them. Exactly. <laughs> These tracks are shining. Yep. Definitely. They operate. That's for sure. Wow. 
cool sight, eh? Beautiful. The river. Here we go. I wonder how old those bridges are. Oh, they are. What a beautiful mountain. They are, these. In your precious free state. Yeah. A year on the radio is going to be another hot day today. Yeah, mid to late thirties. Yes. I'm going to call this the South African Mount Rushmore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you'd like to see a few presidents' heads on there. Yes. <laughs> I think this is the turn off to Tweerspreit. There's no board here. I have yet to see a single sign. There's a sign that side that says Tweerspreit. Okay, <laughs> all right. I'm excited to see the town. Yeah. Yeah, what we're gonna find. That's what makes it so much fun, you yes, know. Yes, it's fantastic. And it's a Sunday morning, so it's probably super quiet. Yep. Do you sprite? Yes. I believe it's at the confluence of two small rivers. Okay, I didn't know that. But I don't know the names of the rivers. I would call a Sprite a little stream. Yes. So it's two streams. Right, let's check this out. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're right next to the side. Yeah. Jay. Yep. That's the police station. Yes. Oh, such a quiet vibe here. Yeah. yeah. Do I miss these little towns? Yes. <laughs> it's the Tweerspreit Mall. Yeah. They stay right, um, both sides in Afrikaans. <laughs> no English, yeah. Very Afrikaans community. Yeah. Supermarket is open. They have a U save, which is great. Yeah. Is for guessing what keeps Twesprite alive. I can guess it's the farming community. <laughs> Look at that stone building. 
Oh, we need to come back to that. Was this oh. the old station? I've got no idea. Might be. We have to come yes, check that out. Definitely come back. There to are that. Boards, yes. yes. Well. <laughs> Kindergarten. Is that church? Oh, oh, it's a Christian school. Oh, nice. Ezekiel Christian School. Before you say it, I'm going to say it. Say it. We're through the town. <laughs> okay, we'd have to turn back. When I was young, we used to call them tick birds. It's a little heron, eh? You know, my knowledge of birds. I'm happy to go with Dick Bird. <laughs> it looks like this, where we think is the station, is the station and the post office. There's a sign that says post office. I see that. My goodness, these sandstone buildings. Stop. Yeah, yes, still a post box. Looks like this is the post office. Yes. Fantastic stonework, this, eh? Hey? Yeah. It's just incredible to me how neatly it was done back in the day. Yes, I'm glad to see someone's using these buildings. Yeah, these yeah. businesses, and yeah. that they still look so good. Yeah. Brilliant. Yep. So nice to be able to get out and inspect these buildings from close. The old mailing box. Post office boxes. Ja. Station Foreman, Stasi Foreman, Privat. Ja. Oh man. This is so cool. can see this line still works, it's shining. Look at all the post boxes. So this has been the post office for quite a long time. Yeah. Love this. Yeah.
twee spruit. Fifty four miles from Bloemfontein. Crazy. An altitude five thousand two hundred thirty six feet. Yeah. I must say, I am so glad you spotted this. Because I am 99.9% .9 sure that these steel things that with those hooks on were for horses. I would have thought so too. Oh, definitely. I'm so sure. That's fantastic. <laughs> but they're still here. Yeah, that's incredible. How nice to walk around here by the station and they're using the buildings, I love it. Yes, and it's nice and quiet. Yeah. Seeing that there's a filling station, I'm going to fill up. Because one doesn't know what happens in these little places on a Sunday afternoon. Well, we like spending some money in every town we get to. Yes, exactly. So let's give to Esprit some business. Full up. Full up. I like what the petrol attendant said when you asked her what is it like living in Tuespra. Yeah. <laughs> she says it's cool. <laughs> she says it's cool and calm. She yeah. says there's no trouble here. She you says you can leave your car outside unlocked. Nothing's going to happen to it. That is just so fantastic. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. So I think what we do is we go to the first road leading yes. off the main one and we see what we find. Right, yeah. Yes. I wonder if the combos is still open. It looks like it's just closed on Sundays. It's well, locked. Maybe too early, yes. Yeah. Can't read the street name. Yeah. Siederstraat. Alright. These look like municipal offices. For sure. From government department. Yes. Looks like it could be the traffic with the road tests and the, whether you get your driver's license and stuff. Yes, I wonder if that's still operational. Yeah. Oh, definitely municipal vehicle then. Residence too, it looks like. Yeah. These tall trees, aren't they? Wow. Bumpy road. Yep. More gravel than tar. Yes. <laughs> Imagine living in such a quiet town. Yeah. I can just imagine what it's like. You can see doors are wide open. Yes. Gates aren't closed. Oh, this also used to be tall at some stage. This looks like a livestock carrier. Yes. Some cattle lying there. There's yeah, quite lots a few of livestock yeah. areas. Well, you said it was a dairy farming community. Yeah. I read that. And another interesting fact I read. Let's see. This was before we entered the town limits. Yes. Let's see if they have signal. Well, I think there is signal. Yes. It appears that they do. 
interestingly I read oh this is a dead end here yeah. oh okay turn around here yeah. okay looks I wanted to say there's not a lot of info online about Tweer Spray. Yeah. It does say the town started as an experimental farm set up on an old British Boer War settlement which was between two creeks. Wow. Hence the name. Okay. That's interesting. Yes. Like there's some Boer War history in the area. Corner shop is no more. Yep. A few other shops here that are have obviously closed down, hey? Yeah. And then we have the Tweer Spray. Country Dairy. Oh that says that? it, yes. But it's also closed. Yes. Oh, definitely. Wow. Not sure what that tells us. I think they supply to the big companies now. Yeah. Instead of selling locally. Well I suppose they do that as well. Country pub and grill, the boot. <laughs> That's interesting. It does look like um, the town was um, busier or more lively at one point. Yeah. Dino's, Dino's pub and grill. Yeah. Restaurant. restaurant. Doors are open. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Here's a board. Let me see. I wonder if this is also the Orphea car. I would imagine so. Yeah, it's all part of it. Co op op directly opposite, yes. yes. A nursery school? Oh! Yeah. Mini, mini school! school. <laughs> <gasps> That's cute! Yeah. <laughs> this is the back of the police station. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's yes, the traffic department. Oh, the tunnel. Yep. No longer. Yep. This is at the back of the police station. Yes. I must admit, I've never seen cisterns on the outside of a building. Do you know why? Because these are cells. <gasps> and then the, the cisterns will get broken. So they just put a little button and it flashes through the push the button and the cisterns outside. You're so not that, serious. So it doesn't get destroyed, yes. It's the They're only two reason, more. Yeah, it's the only reason why they put them outside. That makes so much sense. Yes. I've never seen that before. Yeah, it's interesting, eh? Even cells and cisterns on the outside <laughs> intrigue us. Yeah. <laughs> But there's a reason why, which makes perfect sense. Yes, I yeah. had no idea. I wouldn't even have thought that. Yeah. And normally I'm a very good cell identifier. <laughs> <laughs> but I suppose because that lady at the filling station says it's so safe here, the cells aren't full most of the time. I suppose. That's a good thing. So I wanted to go inside to Dino's Pub and Grill. But it seems it's not that anymore. It seems like they've got a gym inside here and then they've got rooms to rent out. Yes, I don't think the restaurant is operational. No. It says 150 to 200 rand for the gym. I would imagine that's membership per month. 200 rand for a room. Per night, most probably. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 200 and up. 200 with an up arrow. Okay. Yes. Cool. All right, so there's accommodation in Twist, right? Hey. It's a little windy house and it looks like it's someone's living there and you see the carport as well. Eh? It's got its own carport, its yeah. own gate, so yes, cute. And this is the... Twerspray Clinic. 
Two years Sprite Clinic. Yeah. It's a bit faded. Yes. But yeah, one can see this is an official building. Yes. Say, uh, folks are friendly here. Very friendly. Hi. Very friendly. And the ladies with their um, white head scarves heading off to, to church, I'm yes. sure. Who knew? I never even knew Two Sprite existed. <laughs> no, I knew about Two Sprite, but yeah, can't remember anything about it. I wonder if it was a thriving town back in the day. There are signs that there was a lot more economic activity. You know, all these little towns I think years ago did very well because of the farming community. Um, oh, things have changed. Circumstances have changed. And I think lots of people had to go to the city to earn a living. Yes, look Those at this. who weren't employed on the farms, eh? It's a pretty house. Stone. Stone. Yeah. How cool is that? So that guy's name is Mujalifa and he works for YouSafe and he's going to the filling station now to go and buy diesel for the generator for load shedding. <laughs> <laughs> for, is it 25 litre things? Yes. In his uh, shopping cart? Yeah, yeah. So I said to him, not to worry. We all suffer from that illness. <laughs> what a friendly guy. Yes. What was this? This is very intriguing. Wow. What could this have been? I have no Hi. idea. I'll have to go and investigate. And that you will definitely have to. Yep. this it would be interesting to know what this was is this safe What's this?
men's toilets. And this must be the ladies, yes? The foundation stone. Wooden floors are all gone. Wow. This is the bathroom. And this must have been the lounge area. The fireplace there. Yeah. Look at this beautiful wall with the entrance to this. So I wonder what this was. We'll have to ask. That's for sure. Because you can see there were more structures here that were broken down. Yeah. And both of these, that house there and the building has been stripped of everything. Oh, is it? Yeah. The window frames and everything's gone. It's quite a while. Yep. Stonework is beautiful. Yes, though. it is. Let's go up here. The beautiful building here. This is also the roads department. Okay. As in many other places, they've got some work to do. Yeah. Okay. Could this uh, be a church? I heard singing. Did you? Yes, I heard singing in the distance. And I suspect this is the church. All the farmers have come to church. Oh, some yes. Buckies. Yes. The farmers and the townsfolk. Yep. Let's see if we can see what church it is. I can't see anything. Not yet. Looks like we can drive all around it. Yeah. In Gieko. Dutch Reformed. Okay. Hmm. While we were passing the church here, yeah, I noticed the Twesbrook Primary School. P.O. Box 27 Twesbrook. <laughs> It's quite a modern building, yeah, it is, eh? modern buildings. This right. must be fairly recent. I think so. That's nice. And it's quite big. Very neat. Science building. Ooh, like it. Quite a big school. Yeah. Even the water tank has been painted in colours. <laughs> I saw that.
We are in Sereng Street. Okay. Is that a plant? I think they're all trees, yes. Okay. Walnut Street. So that car that just turned left over there, we stopped that gentleman and he was so kind Hopeful, and friendly yes. to speak to us about this old stone building. Uh, I just want to get to it now. He's lived here for 17 years. 17 years, yeah. That's so incredible. Amazing. And he works in Pochabelo. Yes. Now this is where you go into the old stone building. All right. Oh, we can approach from this yes, side. Yes, yes. And apparently this was the municipal building. So that's why the telecommunications tower is there. And he says about three, four years ago, the residents were dissatisfied with service delivery and they started defacing the building. And uh, unfortunately... They set it alight as well, apparently. It's no longer in operation because yeah. of that. Wow. What a pity because it is so beautiful. Yeah, he says people have been trying to buy it and all of that because they want to restore it, but the municipality doesn't want to sell. No, they're not getting anywhere with those efforts. Yeah, but it's a beautiful building. Would this be the library? This is the library. He says this is their new library. He says this is the prettiest building in town. <laughs> So that same gentleman we spoke to said that the museum moved out of town to just outside of town. Yes. And um, he said we turn, where it becomes gravel, we turn right. But, and we go over the railway line, but he says it's also been neglected. He says all the valuables have been removed. Yes. Now, this is at a... Father Clorot Museum. Yes. Um, on Wikipedia it says he's one of two notable people from Tweespreit. He was Father Franz Clorot, artist and priest at Tweespreit Mission Station. Okay. Mission Station. I First I've heard of a mission yes. station. And then Michael Anthony or Pez Parsonsons, South African Air Force fighter pilot. Wow. Do you think it could be that? That looks like an old church. Yes, it does. Yes, it is that. Fantastic. Let's go there. Oh, yeah, it says Father Claret. Father Claret. Yes. But. Oh, it's closed. Oh, boy. I wonder if this had anything to do with the mission station, this building that he started. I would think the answer is yes. But to me, oh, no. I wonder if folks don't live here now. It looks like it because there's, there's millies. firewood. Yeah. I saw a gentleman there in the far back. Okay, so... I'm thinking that it already is not operational anymore. Definitely. Yeah, it's not a museum anymore. He lives here now. The gentleman can't speak Afrikaans or English, but no. in our broken situ, yeah. we managed to determine that it was a church, yes. which we saw, but that he lives here now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad we can just have a, a drive past. I would think that you're onto something being the it being the original mission church because look there are more buildings definitely that's what i think yeah i see all the windows have been boarded up yeah and the broken quite a big size yeah. eh? not 
But this, I think, was all mission stage. Definitely. I think so. Mixed in with railway buildings. Wow. Now, there's two more things I'd like to go and see down here. Look at all the cacti. Yes. Okay. Because I think there's a big agricultural school out this way. Oh. So we're going to have a look here. Can one turn in here? I think we can. I don't think we'll get onto the premises, but I think this is the Unicom Primary School. Oh, look at that stone building. Yes. It is, indeed. Yes. No, it's not stone, it's brick. But it's beautiful, yeah, yeah. So I think this is the Unicom Primary School, and then there's the Unicom Agricultural School, which I think is further Further down? down? Yes. Very neat, eh? Yeah, very neat. I thought that building was stone. Yeah. But they are pretty old, eh? Yeah. Let's right. go look for the agricultural school. Lots of water here. Yeah. Yes, this is the Unicom High, High School, Secondary School. Unicom Agricultural Secondary School. Yes. Let's go have a look. Yes. learning to drive okay this is the perfect place to learn <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder if I can see a stone building oh yes look at them Wow <laughs> look at this <laughs> So this must have been around for a long time. Long Look at this. <gasps> Craziness, eh? Lots of students around. Yeah. I suppose they live here. I'm sure they do. If it's an agricultural school, that's for sure. There's the hostel, Mzana Gris Hostel. Mzimkuli Boys Hostel. Mzimkulu Boys Hostel. Sure, this is pretty, eh? It's also a national monument. Wow! This is very cool. Friet Song. I wonder if that's their mess because that will be a very clever play on words. Yes. Where they Free eat song, together yeah. <laughs> peacefully. Yes. This is absolutely gorgeous, yeah. the stone buildings. So it's been here for a while then. Yeah, eh? and later on the, st the brick ones were added. Yes. Quite a big place. Sports fields are down there, rugby fields. If we go down there. How stunning is that, eh? We just chatted to the security guard. He's totally cool yeah. that we took a drive around. I'm glad we came. Yes, very interesting. Back in Tuesprite? We're turning up Walnut. Ah, I remember seeing this big water tank here. Beautiful stone wall and house. I see that. Oh, it was a church. It is a church. Oh, man, look at this. There's a cornerstone. There are people. I'm sure if you ask, you'll be able to go inside. And have a look.
Well then, 25th of March So they're having their service now, so we can't go into the church. But it's so nice to hear them singing. Beautiful, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, really nice. I am surprised to hear that the church was built so late. 1956 with stone, that's fantastic. Though. I don't think we've seen many that late in no, stone. No, no. It's a surprise to me. I'm happy though. So glad we saw this. Yes. Who knew? Fantastic. What church is it? It says Anglican. It says Anglican. But I thought they sing in Afrikaans. Yes. Anglican and Methodist, I think. I heard them singing in Afrikaans though. Yes. Very interesting. Yeah. The town's reservoir. Oh, yes. Yeah, with the colours on those windows, you can see this was an FNB, eh? Definitely, and there used to be the ATM. Oh, yes. For sure. Crazy. Gonna pop in at you save. Yes, just to buy some cool drink. Do we have spray golf course? But we know it doesn't exist anymore. Yes, the gentleman told us. But we would still like to see what's left. Yes. And you think you spotted a bowling green. I do, and it looks like the bowling green is still functional. I think this is where the golf course was. Yeah, no, it's gone. Oh, it's in here. No, totally gone. Oh, you mean this was the clubhouse yes. and stuff? Oh, nothing there's left. nothing left. Nothing left. Because it says in there. Yeah, oh, that's a shame, eh? This is where I spotted the bowling club. What's that what over there? What does there? Yes. Sports club. Tweer Sprite Sports Club. Okay. Yes. Is this the dry season here? Summer, no. Summer is the green season. So maybe they haven't had a lot of rain. doesn't look green but it looks good well kept that's for sure tricky oh this looks nice This is nice. I 
I spotted something interesting down here and I can't go because of this cable where it might be private property but these are the sports facilities look at that that is incredible I don't want to go onto the property because it's private property Oh, the tennis courts, I don't know if they functioning anymore. This is all built up. Interesting, this is a neat place. A lot of it's closed and not working, like the tennis courts and stuff. Yes, definitely. But that little tank is cute as well. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, a lady stopped here and she confused me with the owner of the, this place. And uh, she told me that the transformer blew. And they had been without electricity for just over a week now. And uh, they tried to replace the transformer last week couldn't get it right so they're coming now this coming week to replace it so what you're talking about the entire twist break the way I understand is not the entire twist break, twist break but a lot of the town okay. doesn't have electricity wow I hope they get that sorted a week is an eternity without crazy. electricity great that was twist break done and dusted a cute little town oh, I loved it a it friendly awesome. little town People are really friendly yes. there. It's crazy. It yeah. is so yeah. noticeable. And I love the station stone buildings. Yes. And what stands out to me is that they're being used. They're not just being vandalized and left to get destroyed. Pity about the municipal building. Yes. Hopefully someone does make a plan and fix that up. Hopefully. I'm very happy that we came to Tweerspreit and I can put a, a little picture now to the name. Yes. Even though you never knew of it before. Yes. Yeah. Thanks for joining us on this episode. If you've enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. And we'll see you in the next episode.